Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover and it's some huge milestones for Eminem in the United States in the last couple of hours that sparked some interesting reactions as while social media has been debating many males comments on Eminem, some milestones were just around the corner that doesn't bode well for those who come up with every excuse under the sun to discredit him and we'll get to more on this in a bit. Today we also have more on the Joe Budden vs Logic drama and King Crooked decided to up the ante a few hours ago and now Joe Budden is reportedly clapped back at King Crooked, though that remains contested at the moment. And I'll leave it up to you guys to be the judge in the comments section later on if Joe Budden was actually responding to King Crooked. So here's a quick summary. Joe Budden slammed Logic and urged him to retire because he's the worst and King Crooked asked on Twitter if there's a reason why Budden is so fixated on tearing down Logic on his platform. Form. But a few hours ago, Crook lit the fuse with this. Since y'all Joe Budden fans want to attack me all day, answer me this. One beat, 24 bars each, Joe Budden versus Logic right now, who washes who, thinking emoji. And contrary to what many quotes expected to see under, there are takes like this. Joe is not as talented as Logic, please stop. Prime Joe isn't messing with Logic, and Joe is one of my favorite rappers before you come at me sideways. Oh wow, huge man. Huge. <laughs> Another user expands, honestly I don't know, Logic still rapping and his last few albums are straight fire. Joe hasn't rapped in years, back then Joe could definitely rap but right now I don't know. So it makes sense that when a user brought this up to Crook, Crook come on man, you, me and everyone else who listen to rap know the answer to this. Crook stated, read the tweets man, it's not one sided. But what do you guys think of this one? I've never been a big fan of Logic but pure bar for bar and from a technical aspect I think Logic has Joe covered. If we talk in storytelling and emotion, Bodin has Logic covered. Logic also has more mainstream appeal, so I guess it depends on the criteria to judge. But not everyone appreciates the discussion and they seem to forget that Joe Budden started this drama in the first place. It's very exhausted how Crook has always exhibited some real corny behavior whenever Joe name comes up. It's like man, just move on, leave it alone. You coulda easily had your logic rap conversation from a place where Joe's name didn't need to be said by you easily. But no, he wanna jump out the window with the jokes and blah blah on Joe's name and we know how it goes. The very second that Joe Budden fires back, it's gonna be the narrative of Joe Budden always bothering somebody on his little podcast never fails. Uh -huh. And this is wild because Joe started this whole thing in the first place when he urged Logic, a widely more successful artist to join him in retirement, all because of a cover. And to this a user responds, so Joe can mention anyone and everyone on his podcast and it's fine. But Crook has a rap versus question and it's corny, laughing emojis, y'all stands will do gymnastics and backflips all over the place to defend your lord and savior, doing worse-ish on his podcast, filthy hypocrites. Joe Budden basically explained how he loves to bully logic. He started this whole thing, Crook joins the conversation and Budden is now the victim. Uh -huh. Crook laughs this off and now some believe Budden has responded to Crook. A lot of people that swore to y'all they would hop off my knob have yet to do so. Men that I don't mention at all and never will. If you don't like me, you should stop liking the attention you get when you say my name. Stand on your own and be a man for a change. And this was low hanging fruit, says the dude who makes a career hating on rappers more successful than him, loudly crying emojis. And when this was brought up to Crook, he talking to you. Crook goes, No sir! Moving on, while the world was debating Melly Mel vs Eminem, this was just around the corner in the United States for Curtain Call 2. Eminem's second greatest hits album, Curtain Call 2, is now eligible for platinum in the United States. This will be his 14th album to go platinum, all projects included. These figures are based on Hits Daily Double Year to Date figures and last year CC2 moved 841,000 units and in 2023 so far it's moved 159,000 units and some fans haven't forgotten what happened when CC2 dropped, what happened, the last Lamento skull emoji. I thought it was gonna outsell exhaling emoji. But there's more. It's not even the end of the first quarter, but check this out. Eminem has now moved over 500,000 total album units in the United States in 2023. And while some are asking why and how does he do it, a more relevant question is where are the other white rappers doing this? Since according to Melly Mel, Eminem is considered great because he's white. I mean if that was all it took, how come the others never make top 5 lists by rappers and how come the labels haven't been able to recreate the Eminem run? Surely they'll love to maximize profits if it were so simple, yes? 
On a side note, for the utmost respect I have for the pioneer, I'll continue to save up to sign a white rapper. It's gotta be easy money, they say, and unlike y'all, I must respect the pioneer's opinion and put it to practice. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more, and see you on the next one.